My name's Stephen. I'm originally a Mancunian and my wife, Margaret, is a scouser. She has converted me from football from Man United who I gave up on years ago to support Liverpool. And we met originally through work. Um, Margaret works for the Department of Work and Pensions as a Disability Employment Advisor Manager. Um, and I worked at Traffic Council. So from that side of it, our backgrounds have been very useful in terms of what we've been through uh, since I became ill. Um, but also prior to that, when my elder brother David became ill with the same grade four glioblastoma. David one day came home and had difficulty actually getting into the front door with his key. So they arranged for him to go to his, to his doctors and his doctor was quite good because he straight away referred David to his local hospital, which was older, uh, where he was uh, subsequently diagnosed with a brain tumour, um, which he had removed. So in many ways, David's experience helped Margaret and myself deal with my experience. David sadly passed away in January 2010, and four months later I was diagnosed with my brain tumour. Um, for me, it was caused at a much earlier stage. My thought was, um, I'm not going to think about this. We're going to take it one day at a time and deal with it as things arise. What we did do was spend the time before the operation just discussing things in general, what we wanted to do and enjoying how, for however much time we had together. Uh, the other thing we, we also agreed on was we didn't want to know what the prognosis was because we already knew with days it wasn't going to be good. It, it is important to consider that a diagnosis of bioblastoma brain tumour doesn't have to be a negative experience. I think one way of looking at it, the way I looked at it, was it's an opportunity. It's a life-changing opportunity. I think the important thing is to recognise it gives you a chance to reflect upon your life and take a new step forward in a different direction. The direction Margaret myself went up on was to both take retirement um, and that gave us the time together to go and do um, tours of Europe before the second brain tumor came around, which we would never have time to do if we would have continued working. And the other thing I always say to people online with, the, with Brian is, uh, I will give you a quote from one of my heroes, Lawrence of Arabia, nothing is written. I participated in one of the early Satinfex trials because I was asked by my oncologist um, if I wanted to participate in the clinical trial. And when I said yes, she asked, well, what do you want to get from it? And I said, quality of life. But the main thing result, irrespective of whether it was on the placebo or the drug itself, is since um, the trial finished in um, 2016, um, all my MRI scans have been clear. I think the main thing is it will give people and their families hope that they could be life beyond a recurrence of the glioblastoma um, and also the reassurance that there are other treatments being trialled to support people to get on with their lives afterwards. To anybody who's considering making a donation, you can be sure that the money you are donating will go, is going to a worthwhile cause and will be used to benefit a hell of a lot of people. It could also enable people to live longer with their lives. But the more trials we do, the different options that are available for people, because everyone's individual at the end of the day, and your money's not wasted. It's going to a worthwhile cause, which will have an impact on people for the better.